episode 2, another at West London Wine School, and um, I'm here with uh, Wine in the City's Lucy Shaw. Hello. And uh, another instalment with us too, we're looking at the uh, Cabernet Off on this one. Cab versus Cab. Cab versus Cab, and um, this is the new world, Cabernet Off. We're going to try, uh, first of all, a Verkelechen, Cabernet Sauvignon Merlot. And what's that mean, Verkelechen? Far away. In, in Afrikaans. Afrikaans, really. yeah. yeah. It means far away. It's um, a fantastic vineyard, uh, Stellenbosch. Um, we're looking at Cab Merlot blend, which is quite common, uh, really up and coming in the uh, in the South African area. And then, secondly, we're looking at Cabernet Founders Block Cabernet Sauvignon. Whereabouts is this from? Cunawara. This is Cunawara, a very distinctive style. So, first of all, then Cabernet Merlot. Where do we usually see Cabernet Merlots, Lucy? Uh, usually in the left. Yeah, yeah, we're usually looking at Bordeaux, Bordeaux. of course. Well, right back to Merlot, also. Absolutely, and we're, this time we're looking at South Africa, and South Africa are replicating this style, um, trying to produce it in their own way, and this certainly is one of those classic sort of new replications. So obviously with uh, South Africa, Pinotage is there great. Are they kind of moving away from Pinotage because of the rubbery connotations and experimenting uh, yeah. more with the yeah, international mean, grass? Yeah, there, there, is, there is that challenge. If you might, like, you love it, you hate it, Pinotage. Yeah. Um, I think Cabernet and Merlot are internationally recognised mm. grapes of, of, of high quality, so I think, I think, I think they, it's a safer bet to go for those. Okay. So but it does mean they've got more competition there, doesn't it? If they're doing, you know, they're competing with every other Cabernet yep. Merlot. Well. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's not their individual identity. This is, this is one that's you know, already started in France, it's around the world. Um, but let's see if they can compete let's with see. the best. Let's have a look. So, have a big sniff of this one. Mm. Mm. What do we get there? It does seem very. French in style almost. French in style, what do we mean? Well, it's right. quite oaky, I think. Yeah. I think you get the oak first. Yeah, there's that cedar, cedar. tobacco comes yeah. in there as well, yeah. It's um, it's quite surprisingly developed for its three years. Yeah, it? absolutely. It's, so it's the, there's the element there of, of all this secondary character, smokiness, cedariness, tobacco, but then there is the richness of fruit as well. It's quite seductive. Yeah, absolutely. A nice richness black fruit comes mm. through, but then there's a plummy touch as well yeah. from the Merlot. So yeah, exactly. The, the Merlot is definitely softening it out. Absolutely, yeah. So it's a very intriguing nose. You're right, if you had this blind, you would probably think, mm. maybe you is this... You don't get the heat of the new world, yeah. it, which is good, I think. The taste, then? Fruit, plummy, mm -hmm. cherry. Bit of spice, bit of licorice maybe yeah, on the finish. Yeah, and that cedar touch. It's yeah. got a good complexity. We've, we've actually listed quite a few things there. That's going to be a mark of a decent wine. Mm. It's not exceptional, but it's drinkable, isn't it? Yeah. And this is by um, Andre van Rensburg, the inimitable, uh, very controversial winemaker, very outspoken, says what he thinks, but he's, uh, he's a big pioneer in South Africa, so uh, hats off to him. Yeah, so I mean, um, this is one of the more standard labels they do yeah, go up, up, up they do throughout the range. Well. Yeah. But um, fantastic, very interesting style. So a decent style, Cabernet Merlot blend there, 2007 from Virgilegum. The okay. next one. How much is that then, Jimmy? Um, it's about a tenner. Um, if you read just below the blog video, that's where the price will be. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, completely off the top of my head. First, uh, well, this one we're going to Catnip now. So I'm still in the Southern Hemisphere, but this time to Australia, I'm going to Kunawara. Um, 2007 again, same one, but this is 100%. Cabernet Sauvignon. Talk me through a little bit about Cunoir. Noir. What makes it distinctive, Lucy? That's a very good question that I'm not sure I know the answer to on the phrase. <laughs> well, despite think about, having learnt about it today. Think about the, the, the area down there. South Australia. Right. South Is it coastal? It's coastal. It's coastal. It's coastal. So it's tempered by the winds. Absolutely. So they it's that it soil. Summer, keep it warm in the winter. What's that specific soil? That terra uh, the rossa. rossa, the red earth. Absolutely. Yeah. That soil adds a firmness to the wine, but there's also a massive amount of eucalyptus trees mm. dotted around the vineyards. What happens with these eucalyptus trees? Well, they exude oils off into the atmosphere. These oils attach themselves to the skin of the grape, and then when you press this grape, you don't just make Cabernet, you make Cabernet with a touch of eucalypts. So you tend to get that menthol touch, and if you swirl this one around... It's koala bear's favourite wine. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. They guard this. <laughs> Look at that. Minty, For menthol... For sure, that's the first thing that bounces off. Eucalypt, and that's classic with Kunawara Cabernet. Almost like dissonant, isn't it? Yeah, I think if you've got a big stinking cold, instead of sticking your head over a, uh, some Vicks, you know, one of those, one of those bowls of Vicks, just, just get your, just get your, uh, your, your head over one of these yeah. and sniff it, it clears your nose, it's very medicinal. It's far more fun as well. 
Absolutely. Rich cassisi black currant though yeah. as well. It's, it's quite is, heady, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, it's not been softened out by any Merlot like the last mm. one because this is just Cabernet. It's on the taste. full on Cabernet. Quite big, quite acidic. Quite acidic. Tannins there as well. You know, it, it needs That's to soften out. Yeah, I think it needs to soften out a bit more. But it is big, isn't it? What's the alcohol? More. It's, yeah. We're looking at thirteen and a half. That's not too bad. Not bad for Australia. Um, good fruit, black fruit, and that min minty, minty sort of touch mm. comes through. I think that's fairly decent. What would you say has the heads up between mm. Cunoara Cabernet and First Leg and Cabernet Merlot? It's pretty tough. Maybe the Cat Nook. I don't know. You think the Cat Nook? They both they both got charming qualities, but they have. that menthol thing's pretty pretty attractive. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna put this one as a draw between the two <laughs> New World yeah. here. Um, but two great wines, Virgo Leg and Cabernet Merlot 2007, and then we've got Cat Nook Founders Lock Cunoara Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, this is West London Wine School blog. And yeah. Wine in the City. Signing off. Thank you very much. Cheers. Cheers.